안녕하세요. 브락시프입니다. Welcome back to short and sweet lessons on Korean history and culture. Hi, I'm Sherry Tremowen. I attended the National Korean Studies Seminar in 2017, and I also presented on History of Korean Wave, Hallyu. I loved every session, but one of my favorites was certainly Party Gimbap with Rock Shop. Now, if you don't know what kimbap is, it looks like sushi. There's a seaweed layer with rice and then vegetables and maybe meat. Rock Chef showed us how to make it, how to roll it so that when we cut it, there was a beautiful design on the inside. He is an expert on Korean food and he will surely make you love Korean food as much as I do. Hello, Jimmy입니다. Welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet Lessons on Korean history and culture. Today's video is on kimbap. Just as it was mentioned, kimbap with Rock Chef has been one of our participant favorites at the annual Korean Study Seminar. So let's get started on learning about kimbap. Kimbap is a Korean dish made from cooked rice and other ingredients that are rolled in kim, which is the Korean word for dried sheets of lava seaweed, and served in bite-sized slices. The dish is often part of a packed meal, or doshirak, to be eaten at picnics and outdoor events, and can serve as a light lunch along with tanmuji, which means yellow pickled radish, and kimchi. Some common ingredients that go inside along with the rice are ham, tanmuji, burdock roots, cucumber, carrots, and eggs. It's also common to see kimbap with canned tuna, imitation crab meat, and gennip, also known as perilla leaves. Kimbap is a popular takeout food in South Korea and abroad and is known as a convenient food because of its portability. It is usually well-wrapped, traditionally with aluminum foil, but now sometimes in paper, and does not have any liquid ingredients. Let's talk about the history of kim, dried lava seaweed, in kimbap. Production of kim in Gyeongsang and Jeolla provinces is reported in books from the 15th century, such as Gyeongsangdo Jiriji and Shinjung Dongguk Yeoji Seungnam. Eating cooked rice rolled in kim is also a long-standing Korean custom. Yeolyang Seishigi, a Joseon book from 1819, describes a dish called boksam. According to the Encyclopedia of Korean Folk Culture, boksam is a wrap dish where one wraps a spoonful of rice with napa cabbage or kim to enjoy. So kim means dried lava seaweed, then what does pop mean? You guessed it, it means cooked rice. So kim and pap are the two basic components of kimbap. While short grain white rice is most commonly used, short grain brown rice, black rice, or other grains may also serve as the filling. These days, there are so many different kinds of kimbap. Cheese kimbap, spicy cooked squid kimbap, kimchi kimbap, spicy tuna kimbap, and more. The kim may be brushed with sesame oil or sprinkled with sesame seeds. One well-known variant is Chungmu Gimbap, originating from the seaside city of Chungmu, now called Tongyeong. The dish features thinner rolls with an unseasoned surface and only rice as the filler ingredient. It is served with spicy ojingo muchim, squid salad, and sokbakji, radish kimchi. Now, are you ready to make some kimbap? You may already know that there are so many different videos on how to make kimbap. Today, I want to share with you how to make flour kimbap, as presented by Rock Chef. So, who is this Rock Chef? Kim Lak-kun is his Korean name, and he's an ambassador of kimbap who has traveled all over the world introducing kimbap to people of all ages with his party kimbap. H Mart has done an interview with Rock Chef where he teaches how to make flour kimbap, 
Although I don't have all the ingredients, I thought I'd try making one myself by improvising with what I have at home. At least I had Kim and Pop. Actually, not bad. I mean, you can't go wrong with Spam and Rice. But it also did look so pretty. Next time I do it, I think I'll add another layer of rice so it stays more intact. Tried making your own kimbap at home? Please post them on social media and place the hashtag KCCLA so we get to see your wonderful culinary works. And that's it for today's video. Until next time. Yashim.